Hello and welcome to the cathedral. Here we're diving into the fantastic bell sound of this. I'm going to show you how to get it with your right hand and I'm going to show you where to get the left hand fingerings. So let's just dive straight into the cathedral. Movement three by Augustine Barrios. Welcome to micro study number one. A couple of pointers. First of all, right hand is doing all the work. It is a series of left hand chord shapes that we're dealing with here. All the magic is done with the right hand. Two, there are repeats. Each chord shape is repeated twice, generally, until you hit the diminished section. But diving in, the chord shape, in essence, is this G shape, but with the melody on string two. And you're then going to shift it up and put the bar down at various points, depending on whether we have. So in this case, we have this stretched out shape here. So it's not the G shape perfectly. Second finger on five, hinge bar at four, and you're gonna to need to get your third finger on seven on top of your fourth finger. So here we go. We have the bell peel here, and then we have the bell swing here. When you put them together, so whatever you do, do not do. I finger, right hand control, I finger down. It does not need to be there, that is the rhythm section. So here we go. Two, up, three, repeat. Shift, C sharp, Hinge bar at two, up, three, shift, right, watch the fingering, one, two, and then you're going to pivot on two to get into that F sharp minor chord. So that is really important, the pivot on two to get out of this fingering. Pivot. That's the first micro study. Let's check out the next. Welcome to micro study number two. So we left it off here at full bar across two. Full finger on five. Melody is now under that bar chord. Two on the G. down with your third finger as the guide and it's going to be full finger on the third fret second finger on F sharp open E again we have that fantastic E sharp in the score with an open D and then you are going to shift up into at this point, Barrios starts to double up the tempo of the chord changes. So you're going to be F sharp 7 for half a bar. Into diminished. Up. So notice I'm using the same shape there. And then we have a totally different shape here. And then you're down into the next micro study. That's already quite a bit. So what I suggest you do is you work each one of those sections that we've just done in these two micro studies. to making sure that all the notes are there and just do it really slowly as as little tiny micro studies of micro that is probably the quickest way to get your handle on it before you need to run through it again welcome to the third micro study so i left it off here and you're going to slide down third finger again f sharp seven right hand doing the magic left hand pretty much stays static Third finger up, fourth finger on, third finger on, back to that fantastic open.
opening. So I'm going to go through all of that now very slowly in the performance bit so that you can have a look at that. And then I am going to continue on with that uh, return of the A section because I'm not doing it again, so you get to see all of that again. The only thing to say is the return of the A section brings in a new turnaround idea. So before, our turnaround was... <laughs> D to get into this, this idea. The next turnaround is new and then it's going to be an E, 4, 3, F sharp 7, 4, th 2, into, into the next section which is in the next video. So keep that in mind when you play through the new turnaround. Let's check all of this out, all of it, in slow mode. for staying until the end this has been brought to you by my baby classical guitar rocks.com there are a ton of lessons on there more barriers so if you want to learn his amazing tremolo piece that's all there as well villa lobos brower it's all modern guitar dns it is all there modern guitar at its best head over to classical guitar rocks.com for some six string inspiration today <laughs>